another new feature in R2 uh, for view is the um, increased ability to edit materials within Meta, Meta Clouds and uh, VDB volumes and clouds. So let's let's just load a VDB as the first example. I'm just going to use the um, the free Moana asset, uh, which you can find on the web. Uh, oh, and another another little feature here. Uh, previously, we couldn't uh, pre-size the the cloud before it went into the scene, so we can now predefine the overall height or the the largest dimension of the cloud. So let's make that 600 meters, and we've got the cloud. So let's get it in the scene so we can see what we're talking about. I'll just rotate it so we can see a little bit more of the the detail of the cloud. Before I go ahead I'm just going to very quickly make life a little bit easier for myself by unlocking the workspace and just lifting out the camera control. Unlock the workspace afterwards that way when we edit the material I can really show you what's happening. So I'm going to right click and edit that material. You'll see initially when the uh, material editor opens up that all of the new controls are greyed out. That's because a VDB comes in with a limited, limited ambient uh, setting for the material uh, by default. So we're just going to switch it to full view internal noise. And we'll just tweak a few settings because this is a large cloud. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker so we can see exactly what's, what's going on. And I'm just going to fill the cloud volume a little bit more. So we can already see by tweaking a couple of settings that that's better. But the most important settings are down here, which is the cloud modulation. We'll look at a couple quickly as an example, the easiest ones to show. So height modulation, you can see that we can, just using the slider, predetermine the overall height of the, the um, volumetric material within the envelope of the, the VDB. We can also tweak its density, so zero density, zero cloud. So obviously we are looking at the way that the cloud reacts to uh, light in terms of the density. And another most in, one of the most important slides is the opacity. So if it's zero percent opaque, light comes through. So we can tweak that to our heart's content within the sliders but we also have as usual the func the ability to add a function so just one quick example so if i look at the density modulation which is this one we can change that to anything we like get as complicated as we like and by adding that we have the ability to really change how the cloud is reacting to light terms of as I say the overall density we can also do the same for just the overall density of the cloud and we can do the same for height modulation so the VDB clouds and uh, meta clouds are much more interesting we can do some much more interesting effects now um, and just for the sake of uh, showing that this is possible I'm going to import a quick Meta Cloud that I made quite some time ago, which is this one. So there's the cloud. And as you can see, when I edit the material, the edit, the material is as the old system. So I didn't have the facility to control the modulation. So again, height modulation within the Meta Cloud volume which of course can be driven by functions. I think the cloud system now is getting really exciting and interesting and opening up endless possibilities for our own custom made clouds. I really hope you enjoy this particular feature of R2. Bye bye.